hello guys welcome back and now in this video we are going to design and basically create and implement the registration page UI so let's create a new folder for that right click on lib new directory and we can simply give it name as authentication and then right click on this authentication folder new dot file and we will give it name as sign up underscore screen so this is our sign up screen or you can say the registration screen sign up screen now in order to check the changes at real time and to basically see I mean how we are designing our sign up screen at real time let's just uh, come here to the main screen okay and not on the main but the page where we have our splash screen okay and instead of sending the user directly to the main screen for now we will simply add the sign up screen here okay later on of course you will change it when you will connect our this project with the firebase so there will be proper I mean conditions so anyways now we are going to restart the app here you can see the black screen as you know since our page is not yet designed so we can say return scaffold and the background color of this page will be black okay colors dot black then we can say body single child scroll view since we will have multiple text fields for getting data from the driver as you know we are in the driver app in order for the registration basically such as phone number email and the name okay so anyways we can say child call a widget let's add an image first so we can say image dot asset and we are going to access our logo one dot png image okay so inside the images folder we have an image by the name logo one dot png as you can see here now let's apply some padding on this so just click here okay before this image i and you will see this yellow bulb click on it and simply click here wrap with padding okay from all sides it will be 20 and then add a size box of height at the top height will be 10 okay after this let's add a size box first of height 10 and then using the text widget we will display a title you can say that is register as register as a driver and then we will apply some text style on it font size will be 24 color will be colors dot gray and the font weight will be font weight dot bold let's change this to 26 okay and then as you know it is a constant text widget okay nothing will be changing here so that's why we have to add the const modifier with it now let's add our first text field for getting name from the driver so as you know we will need a controller in order to assign that text to that basically to get text in a text field we need a text editing controller so we can simply set text editing controller and we will simply give it name as name text editing controller 
text editing controller let's create for other one also next we will have for the email so you can say email text editing controller then we will have for phone so we can say phone editing controller then of course the password and yeah that's it we do not need one any other okay so name email phone and password for now so we can say controller and this is our name controller decoration input decoration level text will be name enable border underline input border border site border site and the color of the border side will be colors dot gray okay also copy paste this enable border, enable border okay which is underline input border just copy this and paste it down here and now we have to do the same for the focused border and the focus border will also be the border side for it, it will also be gray and then after the focus border we have to define the color for displaying this level text name so we can say that hint style text style and just change the color first which will be gray of course and the font size for this will be 10 okay so now this is the hint style and we have not yet specify a hint text so let's add the hint text which will be name just like the hint style you can apply the text style on our label okay which is also name so we can say label style and let's copy paste this okay just like this so here you can see now after this or all the now also we have to specify the overall that is the of course the user will type in the text field so that's I mean we have also to specify the text style for that as well so our I mean above the input decoration okay here we can say style text style and the color will be colors dot gray okay and now for example let's test it so here you can see this is our label text okay label style which we apply the label text is name and then this downward here this one this is basically our uh, hint text okay hint text this one is the hint text so now if we start typing for example okay so the hint text will get removed and only the label will be visible Muhammad Ali for example okay so now what we want to do we want to increase the size of this so for the label it will be 14 okay just like this and let's add the constant modifier with the constant textile input decoration and yeah that's it so also the typing text color is gray also let's apply some padding on it and of course later on we will just uh, copy paste this whole text field for the remaining ones so first of all let's add some padding to our this whole column widget which contain our the design okay this whole page design 
so click here before column C and then wrap with padding ok 16 will be good ok so this is for the name now let's copy paste this text field three times further for the other remaining ones ok so one two three so the first one was for the name the second one is for the email so we can quickly quickly change the label text and hint text to email and then of course make sure to change the controller to the email text editing controller then the third one we have for the phone and change this to phone editing phone text editing controller and then this one is for the phone sorry phone text editing controller okay make sure to assign the correct controllers to it and then the last one of course is for our password so we can say password text editing controller so now you can see this is our email for example and then of course the phone and here we have to specify the type for the email and for the phone and of course for the, for the password so for the password it will be in dotted form so we can say of course the input type so for the password the keyboard type will be text input type dot text okay password can be in numbers or in english alphabets okay and we ma want to make this in dotted form that is in private form you can say so we can say app secure app secure text to true now if we check it for example if i write password then it will be in dotted form similarly for the phone the english alphabets will not be allowed only the num keypad so just copy this property okay and here in the phone we can change this to number it is phone sorry okay so only phone so restart the app okay for this because I want to check if it is okay or not so here you can see you get a keypad which contains only number okay for example if we click here then here is a text keyboard that is you can put English alphabets as well but in case of phone it is only phone number so anyways for the email we will simply say that dot email address okay now after this we want to basically add a button here so first of all let's minimize now we have to simply add a elevated button so we can say elevated button and it has two properties on pressed and child that is the name of the button okay so anyways elevated button on the on pressed of course we will save the data to firestore and we will do that okay for now let's just comment out this on pressed then comes the text that is the name of this button so we can say child text and the name of this will be create account let's apply some text style on it so of course the color will be colors dot black 54 for this button sorry the text color okay the text color for this create account is black 54 as you can see here and now of course you will change the background color of our this button as well 
okay first of all let's change the font size of the text to 18 so yeah here you can see okay as it is constant so add a const keyword with the text now uh, we have to basically apply the style on our button that is to change the background color of this button so for that purpose we can say elevated button dot style from and to change the color we have to set the primary color to colors dot light green ascent okay just like this so this is how our design looks of this button let's add a size box okay above the elevated button we can say const and then let's add 20 okay just like this now this is our driver information the next thing is basically the car information we have to take from the uh, driver okay that is which car the driver has